on me. Promise that you never. Hey Cinnamonese, it's me, Jess Cinnamon. I'm back with another reaction video. Today is Metallica 1. I am not sure what that means. I have not heard the song, so I have absolutely no idea what to expect. But it is Metallica, and I have done Metallica before, and I love the last one. They had a hair whirl. I think that's what you guys called it. Or I did my hair like this or something like that. Okay, so let's see what Metallica 1 is about. Let's get into the video. The cerebrum has suffered massive and irreparable damage. I never know what has happened to him. If I not been sure of this, I would not have permitted him to live. Where? Father? Father? I need help. What is democracy? What is democracy? It's got something to do with young men killing each other. When it comes to my turn, will you want me to go? For democracy, any man would give his only begotten son. celebrated individual to experience pain, pleasure, memory, dreams, or thought of any kind. This young man will be as unfeeling, as unthinking as the dead until the day he joins me. I don't know whether I'm alive and dreaming or dead and remembering. How can you tell what's a dream and what's real when you can't even tell when you're awake and when you're asleep? Where? Help me, 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 help me,
church has a dignity for its own. Trouble and I help. Don't you remember when you were little? How you and Bill Harper used to bring a wire between the two houses so you could telegraph to each other? You'll remember the Morse code. Darkness in visiting me. So, it's your friend's... Okay. So, the first thing I noticed was in the beginning of the song, he said something like, now that the war is done with me, or now that the war is through with me, which just hearing those words is kind of like, it's sad because, I mean, as I listen to the song, it's like feeling like the war is done with you, like you're no longer useful. And then it was almost like I was watching a movie with a great song behind it that explained it in both voices, the, the video of the man laying there and the singer together. Um, I could see someone maybe that has been to war or anyone that just doesn't feel useful anymore sitting and listening to a song like this and feeling understood because that's what he said in the song like nobody understands he couldn't help himself and nobody wanted to help him like he just didn't feel useful anymore. Um, I feel like I will have to listen to this song again because there are so many, there were so many parts of the song that I feel had a lot of deeper meaning. Um, 
the girl, I don't know if it was his girlfriend or wife in the beginning that was like waving at him. Just the look on her face kind of felt, it seemed to me like, you know, just having the hope like that it didn't end up how it did. I'm not saying like, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that she knew what was going to happen, but just like hoping for the best. And I'm, I'm, I could kind of see the same in his face as well. But at the end, when he went all the way back to like, I guess it was his dad telling him to use Morris code to where he started to use the Morris code and he kept saying the same thing over and over because he no longer wanted to live. And that's a hard space to be in. I do have a question. I'm wondering, did the nurse actually kill him? Um, it looked as if she did. I'm not sure. Um, so that's something if you guys could comment down below and let me know, like if anything I was missing or if anybody else has a better understanding of or more, if anybody else has more to the story. But yeah, like I really like the song. It's an emotional song. That's what it is. It's a very emotional song because it puts you in, it gives you a better understanding about how some people feel coming back from a war or how some people feel though they didn't die in the war. Um, what, what scars or what feelings it leaves deep down inside. So comment down below, like, and subscribe. Thank you for the request. And I really, I really felt that song. Um, so I'm kind of all over the place, but thank you. Bye, Cinnamonies.